You're talking about youth baseball and when to throw a breaking pitch, right, guys? True, true, true. And, and, and this has been a controversial subject. And Al, I don't know about you. When do you think guys should start throwing curveballs? I, I think it's dependent on uh, the maturity of the young man. I, I, I know at 13, I probably started throwing a curveball. But I want to say this, generally speaking, uh, when thrown properly, I, I know this is kind of like one of those gray area uh, answers, but I, I felt like I had less strain and torque on my arm on my curveball than I did my fastball. My fastball was more of an extended, violent pitch. I tried to throw it hard. Certainly, curveball to me was actually better on my arm than my slider because slider was all end end action and turn in. So, so probably but, closer to age 13. I'm so saying 13. 13. Because yeah. 13, uh, 13 is when you when you go to the bigger field. Your you know middle school starts happening before that. Listen, if kids could throw a fastball changeup, you know this. You're, you're offsetting the timing of the hitter and you're learning how to throw a changeup. Throw okay. a fastball changeup. So how do you do it? Okay. So. What else? So with some grips first. All right. So guys use d different grips, but I, I used I used off of off of the big horseshoe, and I used this finger, and everything was off my middle finger, and I wanted this off the off the ball. That's why you see a lot of guys throw knuckle curveballs, because this this finger to me is useless. Some guys, very few guys, throw it off their index finger. It's all off your middle finger. So I wanted a different grip, Harold, from my slider. My slider, which was this, that emerged to a cutter, that I just threw the heck out of it, and it was more of a late late arm action turn in. That's why the elbow is sometimes an issue with the slider because you get around it and as a result of getting around it there's more strain on your elbow. The curveball when thrown properly this is where I think little leaguers get in trouble and I don't know if the trained eye for a, a little league coach yeah. can see it. If your arm gets lower than your shoulder you got a problem you're leading with your elbow and the problem where Curveballs become an issue for a kid, and if we could throw a few, okay. is that when when you first started throwing a curveball, H. I don't know I'm, you you said you pitched. The first thing you see is if you drop and you throw like kind of that frisbee curveball, you could see that break. It's just like a boomerang. The, it kind of goes around to the side. So if I could get if I could somehow get here and throw the throw the boomerang, I could see that. Woo, boom! I could see that, and it just looks like a curveball. That's where you have a problem because you're leading with your elbow. You drop your arm. And and you're getting through this way. Torque is on your elbow and not your bigger muscles. You want your chest, your stomach, your legs to pull your arm through. Your arm, when thrown properly, comes along for the ride. So curveball drill, go like this. All right. I'll tell you what, when, when, I, when I'm throwing curveballs, and this I did in the big leagues, I started out by trying to really exaggerate, get my arm up and throwing it into a little basket. No harder than that. I wanted to make sure that my arm was up. And then once my arm was up and I was working the backside, I landed. All I was trying to do was just throw this little brrr, boom. And I always thought, if you have a kid, he's sitting here throwing like this, the kid's going to want to overthrow it and, and crank it. Give him a glove like this. And now I'm just trying to throw it in the basket. And I have this nice little spin. You can see the 12 to 6. And hopefully, I'm allowing my arm to come along for the ride. And this pulls my arm through. And the only way you could do that, Harold, is to make sure that your arm is in position at foot contact and your arm comes down through. The whole, the whole pull the window shade, right? You've heard that, pitcher mm -hmm. coach. Land, pull the window shade. You hear it on the changeup, same kind of idea for the, uh, for the curveball. This is what I would do. And then you can increase your velocity. I can increase my velocity on it. Slider, another pitch. It's a shorter break. You're throwing it harder. Sliders get in trouble because when you get down here and you kind of do that side, side swing, yep. you lead with your elbow. And that's a dangerous pitch. It's a dangerous, it's a bad pitch because you're dropping. Stay on top, pull through. It's a shorter break and hopefully you're allowing your bigger muscles to pull your arm along. So, so what about with your thumb? Because I used to go like this with my little league curveball. I want my thumb out of the way. Really? I know that. Yeah, yeah. See, I threw my little league curveball like this. Whoop! <laughs> That's why you became a second baseman. <laughs>